Hello, everyone. Welcome to the presentation. I'm Hui Hu, a fourth-year computer science PhD student at the University of Wyoming. And Dr. Michael Brotok is my advisor. Today, I will present our recent paper. The title is Learning Privacy Preserving Graph Convolutional Network with Partially Observed Sensitive Attributes. And this is a collaboration work with Lu Cheng and uh, Jaden Parker Webb. Uh, this is the outline of the presentation. I will first uh, briefly introduce the background and the motivation of this study, then present the proposed uh, privacy prism graph convolutional network and show the experimental results. Finally, conclude this presentation. Uh, in the real world, graph data is everywhere, such as social graphs, web graphs, knowledge graphs, and so on. Unlike structured and independent data, uh, graph data are collected to each other and they are dependent. In machine learning, we often do uh, classifications on graph data. Uh, graph neural networks are the most popular classifiers on graph data. Uh, this figure presents the workflow of a GN model. The first step in GN is, is to learn node representations the main idea here is to pass messages between any pairs of loads to refine those representations. And this formula shows the update rule of load i in L plus one snare. It first aggregates the features of its neighbors in the previous layer, then does the nonlinear transformation. And the second step is to execute the downstream tasks on the node load representation. It can be classification tasks on node level or graph level. Uh, GNs achieve remarkable classification performance in many applications, but GNs are very vulnerable to uh, different uh, privacy attacks. Um, depending on the goals of our tanker, existing attacks on GNs include the following four types. Uh, in this work, we focus on attribute inference attack Namely, uh, the tanker attempts to infer the sensitive attributes of a load in the target graph. Um, to resist uh, attribute inference attack, three directions have been proposed. First, adversarial learning. The basic idea of adversarial learning is minimizing inference accuracy and maximizing classification accuracy simultaneously in the load representation learning process. The second direction is federated learning. Um, to protect users' data privacy, we keep sensitive attributes local and split to the computation graph of a GN among multiple data holders. Further, use a trusted server to combine the information from different parties and complete the uh, training process. The third direction is differential privacy. The principle of differential privacy is to add noise into original data. Therefore, the model training uses users' portable the data. Um, we load existing uh, privacy preserving genes assume that sensitive attributes of all users are known before model training. In practice, Due to the different uh, privacy preferences of users, a GN model may not have access to all sensitive information of users. For example, in this social network, three male users are willing to share their age information to make friends, but the other three female users are not willing to share their age information. Here, a problem arises. For our tanker, is it possible to infer the age information of three female users based on their neighbor's information? Actually, it's possible based on the message pass mechanism and homophony property of genes. Message pass uh, mechanism means a load will aggregate its neighbor's features when updating a new load representation. For example, in this figure, user one has three neighbors, user two, user three, and user four. In the training process, user one will update its features by aggregating its neighbor's features. 
Therefore, the information of its neighbors will pass to user one while the aggregation process. Graph homophony property means load of similar uh, attributes or labels are more likely to collect to each other. For example, people are more likely to make friends with people of similar ages in on, on social networks. Therefore, based on the two properties of gen, it's possible for a tanker to infer a private user's sensitive attributes from her or his neighbors. Our research problem is how to protect a private user's sensitive attributes in uh, genes. To address this problem, we propose a privacy preserving graph convolutional network. Um, we confront two challenges to address this problem, user dependency and attribute dependency. To address the two challenges, we uh, propose to not uh, disentangle representation for each user in a graph. The basic idea of disentangled representation is to disentangle the observed data into different disjoint factors in a latent space. For example, if we use a vector to dis describe a boy as the picture shoots, we can disentangle the observed vector into different latent representations, Z0, Z1, Z2, Z3, which are corresponding to the boy's gender, age, emotion, appearance, respectively. Um, the key in disentangled representation is how to design an encoder to disentangle the observed data into disjoint factors in a latent space. In this problem, we assume linear dependency relation exists between the observed sensitive and non-sensitive attributes of users. Based on the principle of disentangled representation, we disentangle the observed non-sensitive attributes of users into sensitive and non-sensitive uh, factors in the latent space. To disentangle the linear dependency relationship, we introduce a zagalanity between the sensitive and non-sensitive latent representations. Uh, the method to guarantee a zagalanity is learning two azagalo uh, projection subspaces W1 and W2. Uh, let a user's sensitive information is projected into subspace W1, and uh, the non-sensitive information is projected into subspace W2. Uh, this figure presents how to learn two subspaces. Subspace, subspace W1 is learned by using this objective function, this function aims to minimize the reconstruction error between uh, the sensitive latent representations and the observed sensitive attributes of non-private users. Subspace W2 is learned by using the second objective function, and the first term is to encourage the orthogonality between two subspaces, and the second term is to find an optimal subspace W2 with minimal prediction loss. Based on the non-sensitive non latent representations of all users, the model learns the model parameter theta to classify unnamed users. The objective function is as this equation shows, which minimizes prediction loss on the training set. Theta denotes the unknown weight matrices to learn. Uh, the classification process of the proposed model is similar to a traditional graph convolutional network, but we only use users' long sensitive latent representation for load, load classification. In summary, the proposed model is as this figure shows. It includes three modules, input graph, disentangled representation learning, and the load classification. Uh, the second module is designed for privacy preserving. This module disentangles users' original non-sensitive features into sensitive and non-sensitive latent representations, and only non-sensitive latent representations are accessible to a modeler or a tanker. Therefore, users' sensitive information is protected. The whole objective function is as this equation shows. The first term is to normal parameter theta 
and the second term is two null subspace W1, and the last two terms are two null uh, subspace W2. Alpha, beta, gamma are three hyperparameters used to control the contribution of each term. Uh, based on the definition of two allocal subspaces, then one shows that if one vector is projected into the two orthogonal subspaces, the orthogonality will be preserved. Therefore, sensitive latent representation is orthogonal to long sensitive latent representation. Uh, the privacy preserving performance of this model is evaluated under an inference attack. The goal of our attacker is to infer the sensitive attributes of private users in this graph. In this model, the accessible information of our tanker includes users' long sensitive latent attributes, graph structure, and the original sensitive attributes of non private users. Based on this information, our tanker treats users' sensitive attributes as the ground truth label, then predicts the sensitive attributes of the users in the graph. Therefore, uh, the objective function is as follows. Um, L is a loss function. F is the prediction of non-private users. And SK is the observed sensitive attributes. This object objective function aims to narrow model parameter, theta prime, such that uh, prediction loss is minimal. And then the narrow model parameter, theta prime, is used to infer sensitive attributes of private users. Um, in the experiment, we select uh, five benchmark data sets for load classification, and the classification accuracy is used to measure model accuracy, and the inference accuracy is used to measure privacy preserving performance. The baselines include four commonly used graph convolutional networks. The hyperparameter settings are as follows. Table 1 presents the privacy inference performance of the proposed model and baselines. Um, figure 1 shows the change of privacy inference accuracy compared with the baselines. Um, the negative symbol denotes decreasing uh, of privacy inference accuracy. We observe that uh, the proposed model decreases the privacy inference accuracy on most data sets. Um, for example, compared with SGSEN model, our model decreases inference accuracy with 7.25 on POCZ dataset and 8.61 on POCN dataset, respectively. And similar observations can be found on the other three datasets. Um, table 2 presents the load classification performance of the proposed model and baselines. Um, figure 2 shows the change of load classification accuracy compared with the baselines. We say that the classification accuracy of the proposed model is competitive compared with all, all baselines. For example, compared with the standard JSON, our model only decreases the classification accuracy with 0 0.03 on the token dataset and 0.7 on, on the German data set. And to better visualize the change of privacy inference accuracy and classification accuracy, figure three shows the change ratio. We say, compared with standard JSON, our model greatly improves the privacy with the slight loss of classification accuracy on most data sets. For example, our model reduces the privacy inference accuracy by 5.5. Uh, 44, but only increases the classification loss by 0 0.03 on the token data set. And similar observations can be found from <clears throat> figure four. So combining the two findings, we can conclude that uh, the proposed model achieves <clears throat> um, competitive classification performance while protecting the sensitive information of private users in the graph more efficiently. Here is a summary of this study. First, we study a novel problem of privacy preserving uh, gene with partially observed sensitive attributes. 
Second, we propose a privacy preserving JSON model to mitigate the individual privacy leakage issue of private users, which is designed based on disentangled representationally. Uh, third, we provide a theoretical proof for the irregularity between sensitive and non sensitive latent representations. Finally, we evaluate the proposed model on five benchmark data sets, and the experimental results show that our model achieves uh, better privacy preserving capability and a competitive load classification performance simultaneously. Um, these are references for the, this presentation. Thank you.